Well, hey guys, 23 Strong November, day number two. Hope you got off to a great start yesterday. And I want to mention that if at any time you have any questions or comments you wanna share with us, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. So our one-liner for today is that second one that's going to have the two lines in it, actually. We find it in verse 13 and 14. You might be wondering, why do we skip over all those powerful one lines of the Beatitudes? Well, we're gonna come back to the Beatitudes next month, so we're not gonna include them this month. We're finding the second one-liner, and it's a double one, in verses 13 and 14 today. And Jesus says this, he says, you are the salt of the earth, earth in verse 13 and then in verse 14 he says you are the light of the world these lines from Jesus have the power to speak purpose and speak destiny into who we are as people they literally conform the way we live our lives what a privilege we have to get to hear from our creator what he created us to be he didn't say, I want you to be, or I hope you be, or I suggest this for you. No, he said, this is who you are. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Now, even if you've not been a part of 23 Strong, maybe you haven't really studied the Sermon on the Mount a whole lot. You've heard these lines before. But if you have studied it, you know we've gone into this in great depth. So why are we including it now as a powerful one-liner? because they're powerful. They're powerful words that we need to grab hold of and not forget. They need to go with us all our days because they speak into our purpose. When we looked at these statements from Jesus back in March, we looked at some things that salt does and some things that light does. I'm gonna include a list of both of those in the description of this video. So make sure you take a look at that before you do uh, your spiritual food and fitness work through today. But just let me speak for just a moment into both of these. I specifically love the one about salt that says, salt stabilizes and binds, stabilizes and binds. You know, that can give me great purpose. It can form the way I respond to things personally for myself and the way I respond to other people. If Jesus created me in this earth to be somebody that brings stability and brings a binding together versus all the fracturing that happens in our world, in relationships and in people's lives, but he brings me into the world and he created me to be somebody that binds and stabilizes oh my goodness, that can totally form how I live my life day to day. What about light? I mean, light, light gives vision. I love that about light, that it gives vision, that it reveals things. God can use me. He's used me as a teacher of his word to be somebody that gives vision to what he's saying to people so that they can, I can expound on that. So that, that forms who I am as a person. How blessed we are to have our creator telling us why he formed us, what our purpose is in this world. We're not left to happenstance where we have to figure it out. Now, certainly we can get into much more detailed purpose. Like for me, I'm a Bible teacher. That's one of the ways that I am salt and light in this world. But you can be salt and light in this world doing many detailed roles and living that out. Or you could be somebody who brings about not a stabilizing and a, you know, binding work in people's lives, but you could do the exact opposite, or you could bring darkness into people's lives, no matter what role you play. These statements from Jesus about who we are can totally mold and shape how we live our lives moment to moment day to day, how we see ourselves as we know how our creator sees us. So you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. May God use these powerful one-liners in your life today and for the rest of the days of your life. I'll see you soon.